Hello, how to compare these two numbers and find out which of these is the bigger number? 13 to the power of 12 versus 12 to the power of 13. So what we are going to do will be, we can label this as A and this is our B. So we are going to make use of this technique. If A divided by B gives us a number that is greater than 1, that means A is greater than B. And if A divided by B gives us a number that is less than 1, that means A is less than B. So this will actually help us in order to know which of these is the bigger number without a calculator. So 13 power 12 is our A, 12 power 13 is our B. So we are going to have A divided by B, that means we have 13 power 12 divided by B, that is 12 power 13 faces 12 power 13 divided by 12 power 13. Now, remember this, we we'll eliminate this, so we have 1. That is the one that we are comparing it to. So, henceforth, we are going to concentrate on this. We are going to determine if this will give us a number that is greater than 1 or will give us a number that will be less than 1. So let's find out. 13 power 12, we have it here. Divided by 12 power 13, we can express it as 12 power 12 plus 1. Remember, 12 plus 1 is 13. Now, if you have a power n plus m, this equals a power n times a power n. I apply this identity right here. So what I'm going to have will simply be 13 power 12 divided by, this is 12 power 12 times 12 power 1. So I can decide to factor this out. I have 13 power 12 divided by, this is 12 power 12 times, this is like having 1 divided by 12 power 1 because 12 power 1 is 1, so we can have it as 12. Now, we have just factored out this 1 over 12 right here. So from here on, we can apply this identity. If you observe, there is 12 here, there is 12 here. Now, if you have a power c divided by b power c, this equals a divided by b, or raised to the power of c. So we apply that identity right here. That means we are going to have 13 divided by 12, and this is raised to the power of 12 times 1 divided by 12. Now from here, what do I do again? I can express this 13 here as summation of 12 and 1. Let me copy out what I have here. So this is 13 divided by 12. And this is just like writing. 13 is 12 plus 1 divided by 12. So this is just like writing. I can divide 12 by 12 plus 1 over 12. Have you seen it? So from here, we can simply have this as 12 divided by 12. That is 1 plus 1 divided by 12. So 13 divided by 12 is the same thing as 1 plus 1 divided by 12. So I'm going to substitute it. I'm going to substitute it right here. So I'm simply going to have this is 13 divided by 12, which we are going to replace with 1 plus 1 over 12. 1 plus 1 over 12. This is raised to the power of 12, then times 1 over 12. Now, interesting. At this point, we can consider this Euler's identity. If you have 1 plus 1 over n, and this is raised to the power of n, the n here, you have it here, this equals e. 
and the value of e is approximately equals to 2.7182 and so forth. Now, the rule is also that irrespective of the value of n, if n approaches infinity, irrespective of the value of n, you are still going to have a value of e that is less than 3. This simply means even if you have n to be 1000 or 10,000, that means you are going to have 1 plus 1 divided by 10,000. That is rather 100,000. If you have that to be 1 divided by 1, 10,000, raised to the power of 10,000, this will give you a value that is less than 3. So that is it. Even if n is 1 million, let me use n as to denote 1 million. Even if n is 1 million, you are still going to have a value that is less than 3. So based on this, we are going to say that this particular value here is obviously less than 3. Have you seen it? So the whole of this is less than 3 because irrespective of the value of m, you are going to have a value that is less than 3. That means we are having a number that is less than 3 times 1 over 12. So that is the meaning. So we are going to have a number that is less than 3 times 1 over 12. Now, what next? We need to multiply that out because this is simply number less than 3 times 1. This is less than 3 divided by 12. So, have you seen it? Remember, this is our A and this is our B. So, if you have a number that is less than 3 divided by 12, this will obviously give you less than 1. And if this is less than 1, it means A is less than B because less than 3 divided by less than 12 is giving us a value that is less than 1. That means A is less than B. And then, what is our A? Our A is simply 13 power 12. And our B is simply 12 power 13. You can actually cross check this. Let's get back to the original problem. Look at it here. A is 13 power 12. B is 12 power 13. So, obviously, A is less than B, meaning 13 power 12 is smaller than 12 power 13. We did not make use of any calculator. We have been able to achieve this using the Euler's identity. That had only helped us to know that this particular value is less than 3. And that is a game changer for us. This value is less than 3. And we have achieved this with our calculator. This value is obviously less than 3. So we multiply less than 3 by 1. That is less than 3 divided by 12. And that is obviously less than 1. So that is it. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.